hello all today i just came up with a new idea of creating a program for a easy application of wind load on a pep structure consider that you are doing a 3d model for a pep structure so the most time consuming work with the application of the wind load because there might be different base basings and uh, for the different tributary areas we have to calculate the wind load and then we have to apply it accordingly as per the column like uh, the front side column the front side after the far side column and the far side after so like we have to calculate each of these values and we have to apply it manually so it is a tedious task and this particular application will make that task a very simple and very easy so for the demonstration purpose i am just using a 2d frame so this is this is wholly applicable in a 3d model as well so let, let us go into the quick demo say so this is my program and these are my inputs that we require and like we just require wind load coefficients in addition to that that's all simple so say like uh, my wind pressure is 1.28 and my tributary area for this building is 7 and the load case number what does it mean it is nothing but so this is my frame for which i'm going to apply the wind load so here i already have the wind load cases so it doesn't contain any load here so they are empty and the, my wind load is starting from load case number four so here my starting load case number four and then how many load how many wind load cases you are having in the model so right now i'm having a six wind load cases so it is six if you're having four or you want to apply eight window cases, you can specify you can specify it over here. As of my model is concerned, I have six cases. So once I change it, I the it automatically, the program automatically creates the successive load case numbers like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these are my load case numbers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then these are nothing but our uh, wind load coefficients. So CPE plus or minus CPI value. So obviously you would have calculated these things earlier. You just have to copy and paste it over here. Simple. Then we just have to go to our model and then select the frame for which we are going to apply the wind load. Just come over here and press apply wind load. Simple as that. My wind load is applied. So let us go and check. Yeah, if you see like uh, the loads are applied over here, say say like uh, 6.722, 7 the program automatically determines like which is a column, which is a rafter. So, and between rafters, like which is an near side rafter and which is a far side rafter. The program automatically determines these things and then apply the loads accordingly. So specifically and uh, similarly for other load cases as well. Regarding the load direction, it will follow the sign as we are provided in the wind load coefficient. So positive is towards and negative is away from the particular number. Simple. So like, uh, let us do one more check. Say for example, since we have already created these load cases here, it had applied correctly. So let me provide a load case number of 12. So we don't have a load case 12 here. In that case, what my program will do is like it will create new load cases, new primary load cases, and then apply the load. So let me change the load a little bit 1.5 and then 8. So starting from 12, and I have selected my frame, apply wind load. It's all, it's applied. So checking over here, if you could see, like it had created a wind load. Uh, for loading type trend. So, and then apply the load 8.4, 9.6. So, you can see the load variations. So, here it is 6.272, it is 8.4. 8.4 is nothing but 1.5 into 8 into 0 0.7. So simple. In a similar way, say for example, like uh, you would be having in the 3D model, you would be having a multiple planes, right? So, like uh, for the first frame, you would have applied the load. You can just go and select the second frame and then say like uh, for the same load cases you, you wish to add another loads right so 
for the same load cases, say my second frame is of 6 meter tributary. All you have to do is apply wind load. That's all. So here, I'm the 12th load case. In addition to this, so you, I am getting 6 point. If it is a 3D model, so like this load would be applied on the next frame. Yeah, simple, right? So that's all about the demo and hope it is a very simple tool, but I think it is very helpful and a time-saving tool. Thank you.